Welcome to our third circuit. We'll be using total body movements with an emphasis on the core. Get ready for lat pull downs and medicine ball slams. In this next exercise, Heather and I will demonstrate a movement you can do with a partner and Will will be working solo. In this case, Heather and I will do medicine ball slams and Will will be doing lat pull downs. Watch Heather as she brings the ball behind her head slams the ball down into the ground and sits into a squat, sweeping her arms behind her. Will is sitting in a semi-squat position, bringing his elbows down and back, retracting and depressing his shoulder blades. His weight is evenly distributed between his two feet. He keeps his neck neutral, looking at a spot slightly in front of him. Heather and I are using our bodies as whips, throwing the ball as hard as we can into the floor without allowing our spine to overly flex. We do this by bracing our abdominals and keeping a good upright posture. Get ready for stability ball pikes. This next movement pattern is going to work stability throughout the trunk and specifically around the shoulder complex. Heather and I will be demonstrating the more complex movement, but don't be fooled. Make sure you execute this movement with a lot of control, smoothly and fluidly Start by placing yourself on the ball in a push-up position, feet and toes pointed straight down. Draw your feet towards your body, keeping your legs straight, creating a V, then go into a press, allowing yourself to decelerate slowly. Will will stay in the pike position, drawing his feet towards his chest while maintaining a tight, rigid, and controlled posture. It cannot be overemphasized how important control is during this movement. Whether you're following Will and going into a pike, or following Heather and I and going into a pike with an overhead press. In either case, you must maintain perfect control of the movement. Engage your abdominals, maintain good posture, and good alignment through your lower back. When you're done, slowly step off the ball and come up to a standing position. Lunge rotations with a medicine ball or tornado ball. Heather and I will be using tornado balls. Will will be using a regular medicine ball. Stand in a fully upright position. Bring your medicine ball to your shoulder. You'll be stepping back into a lunge with your opposite leg, driving your weight through your front heel. Make sure you spend the second half of the movement decelerating or controlling the downward momentum of that rotation. You do not want to drop your shoulder nor rotate your spine too much. All the weight should be through that front heel or the mid portion of your foot. Also, make sure you return to a fully upright position with the ball coming over the shoulder. Again, this takes practice and good fluid balanced form is the key. As we begin the opposite side, brace the abdominals. Keep the weight focused and centered over the front leg. Don't overly rotate the spine and control the downward momentum of the swing. Your ability to decelerate that weight on the way down is directly proportional to your ability to produce force on the way up. Focus on decelerating the weight and you'll get better at accelerating. Keep this movement fluid, controlled, and balanced. Partner body jumps and squat thrusts. Grasp the forearm of your partner. Sit back into a deep squat with one arm behind you on the floor. You'll be jumping up and switching your grip to the opposite hand. This is a full body movement where you have to use good control and fluid motion. In a squat thrust, you go down into a push-up position and then thrust your legs out behind you, then repeat to the starting position. Do this as many times as you can and then stop. <laughs> 